Good morning and welcome. I'm Susan Bliss. Today's daily devotion for Thursday, July 16th is taken from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Listen and imagine Jesus speaking directly to you. Self-pity is a slimy, bottomless pit. Once you fall in, you tend to go deeper and deeper into the mire. As you slide down those slippery walls, you are well on your way to depression, and the darkness is profound. Your only hope is to look up and see the light of my presence shining down on you. Though the light looks dim from your perspective, deep in the pit, those rays of hope can reach you at any depth. While you focus on me and trust, you rise ever so slowly out of the abyss of despair. Finally, you can reach up and grasp my hand. I will pull you out into the light again. I will gently cleanse you, washing off the clinging mire. I will cover you with my righteousness and walk with you down the path of life. Our scripture readings come from the book of Psalms, chapter 42, verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. And from Psalm 147, verse 11, But the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. And from Psalm 40, verse 2 and 3, He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will see it and fear, and will trust in the Lord. We can all relate to what King David was feeling when he wrote Psalm 40. He wrote it during a time of great stress. He felt as though he was stuck in a pit or a swamp. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't get out. Much like our present times of dealing with one serious situation after another. So David turns his frustration over to the Lord and trusts in his strength. It's easy for us to slide down into the pit of why. Why me? Why now? What have I done? When will this be over? When you look down into that pit and let troubles overwhelm you, it's a pretty dark place. It's said darkness is the absence of light, the absence of God. Jesus tells us to look up for his light. He is the light. Just as David looked to the Lord for his strength. At first, when you look up, you'll see a glimmer of light and a glimmer of hope. As you draw nearer to God, that light will grow brighter and your hope will grow stronger. We will be cleansed of the mire, the anxiety, the fear, the darkness that clings to us because God's light, God's love, and God's help will comfort us and strengthen us. He not only grasps our hands and puts our feet on solid ground, but he walks with us down the path of life. Please join me in a prayer. Dear Jesus, you are our light and our salvation, our help and our comforter. Forgive us when we look down into the pit when trouble comes our way, when we are so caught up in the muck and mire that we forget you are always present for each and every one of us. Help us set our eyes on you and the light your presence provides. Remind us that all we have to do is look up to you, and you will do the rest. 
Your strength will carry us through our stressful times and give us the hope that heals us and sustains us. Thank you for always being there for us and walking with us down this path of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Look up and God bless you.